In this video, we will show you how to submit your mechanical jobs to solve on an auto scaling cluster in IC Success on Microsoft Azure. At a very basic level, the process looks like this. From your local or virtual desktop, you will submit jobs to HPC platform services, which in turn will use Slurm to submit jobs to the auto scaling cluster where the jobs will solve. You can use also HPC platform services to manage, monitor and submit jobs. Once the solve is finished, you can download the results back either directly to your mechanical application or to your desktop. I'm going to show you four ways to submit your mechanical jobs. From within Mechanical Editor, from Workbench Project Schematics, using the web interface and by means of Python. So let's start with the first approach, submitting jobs from the mechanical editor. For this purpose, in the editor, I'm going to add additional queue. I will navigate to solve process settings, click on add queue, put a name, for example, HPS, change the solution execution target from remote solve manager to the HPC platform services. In the field for URL, we will need to fill in the URL pointing to the virtual machine hosting the HPS platform services. We will find out this in the project space. We must ensure that both the HPS controller, which is hosting the HPC platform services, and the auto scaling cluster are in running state and that the HPS controller is pointing to the ANSYS HPS manager. We will click on connect. We are prompted here to enter the credentials. Please note that using the administration console in the Keyclock identity management allows us to create additional users. Enter the credentials given to you by the tenant administrator. Copy the URL up and including the HPS and by right mouse click paste it into Mechanical. Check the connection and if successful, Proceed by entering your credentials and click on Authenticate. Once authenticated, the queue is added successfully. Before I submit jobs, I have to assure myself that the default scheduler queue is pointing to the mechanical solver. For this purpose, I will go back to the HPC platform services, select resources, Auto scaling cluster, properties, and change the default scheduler queue from none to the queue for the mechanical application. Please note that in case we have multiple queues defined, initially the queue will be set to none. Now we will return to mechanical, change the queue to HPS, set the number of cores, and hit solve. The icons will change to green lightning, indicating that the job has been submitted. We can monitor the progress of the job from the HPC manager. We will click on project and then on harmonic response, which is the name of the submitted workbench project. The status is shown as pending it will need something like five to 10 minutes to spin up the compute nodes. Here, I would like to point out that submitting jobs using HPS is very efficient, especially in the cases when we are solving coupled systems. 
Uh, we have coupled systems when, for example, the results from the model analysis are used in the downstream analysis, like in harmonic response with MSUP, random response, or response spectrum analysis. When using HPS, the data from the upstream analysis doesn't need to be downloaded first to your desktop or virtual machine for the subsequent downstream analysis. They will stay on the compute node. So when solving jobs which will create big amount of model or results data, we are saving a lot of time because we don't need to move data back and forth to the compute node for the intermediate steps. Once the compute node is pin up, we can monitor the progress from the HPC manager, for example, by clicking on the solve out in the list of files. Once both model analysis and harmonic response analysis are solved, which can be seen from the status change in the HPC manager, from running to evaluated, but also in mechanical, where the grid lightning will be changed to green arrows, or we can download the results into mechanical. This will trigger at the same time the post-processing. Now let's proceed to the second way of submitting mechanical jobs, which is from the Workbench project schematics. First, I will check that the solution option in the mechanical editor is set to my computer. Then, from the Workbench project schematics, I will click on the right mouse button somewhere in the white space and select Properties. We will change the update option from foreground to HPC platform services. For the HPC Platform Services URL, we will copy the URL from the HPC Manager up to but without the HPS. Please note that the URL here will end with REP and that the project is not yet updated as indicated by the yellow lightning. Subsequently, we click on Update Project. We will be prompted to save the project and you may need to authenticate. In this case, please use the credentials given to you by the tenant administrator. The whole project will be uploaded to the HPC platform services where we can monitor the progress. Again, the status at the beginning might be pending until a compute node is pin up. After the project is fully solved and the status changed to evaluated, the result will be downloaded automatically to Workbench and the status will be changed to updated, as seen by the green check marks. Now let's proceed to the third way of submitting mechanical jobs, which is from the HPC Manager. We will navigate to Projects and click on Create to start the wizard. We will name the project accordingly and select the ANSYS Mechanical APDL 2024R1 template. Please note that under Templates, we can add new templates, for example, by duplicating an existing template, which are tailored to our simulation needs. In the next step, we are asked to provide the ASCII input for the solve. We can add the input by drag and drop or by clicking on the upload file icon. If I want to add additional output files not listed here, I can do so by clicking on the add output file. In the next step, I can select to pass additional command line arguments for the solver, change the MPI type or add environmental variables if needed. Next, I can select the number of cores or choose, for example, between distributed and shared memory parallel processing. By clicking on Create, the job will be submitted to the HPC platform services where we can monitor the progress. 
This could be done again by clicking on the solver output. Once the job is evaluated, we can download all the data by clicking on all files or we can download individual files. An archive will be created and downloaded if we opt to download all the data. Now let's proceed to the fourth way of submitting mechanical jobs, which is by using Python. To use this method, we need to install a Python package called PyHPS. You can find details about this package on hps.docs.pyasis.com. To download the results, we will need additional packages for the graphical visualization of the download progress, which are TQDM and Humanize. The installation could be done easily in a virtual Python environment, which can be created, for example, using the ANSYS Python Manager. You can find details and the installation link on developer.ansys.com slash ansys python manager. Let's have a look at the installation process. In the ANSYS Python Manager, I will go to the Create Virtual Environment tab, enter a name and click Create. After the virtual environment has been successfully created, from the Manage Python environments, I will launch the console and install the three packages mentioned previously by typing pip install ansys-hps-client, pip install humanize, and pip install tqdm. After the installation is complete, we can use these packages to automate the process of submitting, monitoring the progress and downloading the results. Let's have a look at an example submission. In this folder, I have an ASCII input for the solver, a Python script to automate the process of submitting, monitoring and downloading the results, and a batch file which will provide the convenience to automatically start the script by drag and dropping the ASCII to the batch file. By doing so, the job will be submitted to the HPC platform services and a common prompt window will appear. Here we can monitor the status of the job and the downloading of the data. Of course, we can do this from the HPC Manager tool. Once the job is solved, the results will be automatically downloaded to the desktop.